And what were you saying about the backspacers? Well, I was thinking with like the orange and the green when you could swap the backspacer onto like one of the black ones or like on the carbon fiber, kind of mix and match it. I like it. The orange backspacer would look really good on the black, mm -hmm. the all black knife. Yeah, it would look cool. The green might even look good on the carbon fiber. Ooh, yeah, it would look neat. Interesting. Guys, we're talking about the Genzo Firebird. This is the model 7603. New-ish at the time of this video. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we have one of every color. Look at all those. Yeah. Well, again, at the time of this video, this is all the colors that they come in. We're talking the black G10, orange G10, green, camo, camo. and then carbon fiber, mm -hmm. of which it is actually carbon, carbon fiber. fiber. Yeah. I know. Very cool. Very cool. Some, well, one particular change about these knives, Frankie and I have already gone through and taken one apart. We took we've him taken, apart. We've taken this guy apart here. And... There's one, bearings. Yeah, bearings in these knives now. Yeah. Which is really cool. They've been in washers to this point. And does it make a difference? I think so. It makes them very smooth, like, out of the box. It does. Like, some of them you really have some break-in time because we got another one and we need to break it in more. Sure, sure. But these ones came out really smooth. I like these. Very nice. Very nice, yeah. It's kind of tough to choose which color I like the most. I don't know which you know one what's, I like. You know what's weird is I kind of just like the basic black G10. I like, I like these two. I like the, the orange, orange and the green. green. Yeah. They all have, well, we're jumping ahead a little bit, but with the blades, they all have a, I guess it's a titanium coating. Mm-hmm. Take a look at this. Yeah, I wonder how that wears. Well, yeah, we haven't used them enough yet to, to know how they wear, but it is... It is neat looking. I like mm -hmm. it. It makes it like I really like the orange and like the like dark gray. Love that color combo. Yeah, you can't yeah. go wrong with them. Yeah, Frankie, what are we talking here? I guess I can set it up to scale right there. It is a three and a half inch blade. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's a drop point. It's right about eight inches long. N in total, I'd say this is a medium to medium yeah. to medium large kind of knife. I don't mm -hmm. know, depending on. I guess depending on your hand size, huh? Yeah, for me it's kind of a little bit bigger. Yeah. But for you it fits. <laughs> this is uh, this is a 440C blade. We've done testing on 440C. Yes, we compared it with the OS 8, right? Yeah, it did very well. Mm -hmm. It held up better than the OS 8. Um, in our testing, it did it did better. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And we did the visual close-ups as well, not just the cutting. Speaking of cutting, do we have the yeah the phone book paper nearby here? We have not cut anything with this. We'll go with this black one here. Yeah not cut anything it's straight out of the box show another one okay let's go to orangey yeah the only one we've used guys is the is the um, camo you can't see it though because of the camo <laughs> you get it's it in, huh? uh -huh. nobody can see look it. at this though this is straight out of the box like i'm impressed i'm impressed that's factory sharp right there let's take They're a look little. at that yeah let's take a look at those bevels yeah I, we're impressed, but at the same time, I guess we shouldn't be surprised. We've seen this before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've we've held our fair share of Ganzos, and they've all been pretty sharp right out of the box. You can see that bevel there, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, fairly sharp right out of the box. I'd say that's uh, impressively sharp out of the box. And, okay, let's just get into it, too. Mm, What's yeah. the cost on these things? We are talking, and that's maybe one of the most impressive things. We're talking uh, nothing new here. Well, 15 okay. to 25. I'd say if you're if you're getting them on sale, you can score them at around fifteen dollars, maybe yeah. even less. That depending is depending on crazy. the time and place you're buying them from. Mm -hmm. You can get them for even you know thirteen something. We've seen Ganzos as low. Um, if you pay up to twenty five, you're still, still not doing bad. Still a good bad. deal. Yeah, it's, it's a good knife for twenty five. We want to say, yeah, these aren't bad. Of course, they're using the axis lock. Right. Yes. Which yeah. Whatever. It's it, not like a, like, what's different about these ones, too, is that it's not, this one to us seems like it's a unique design to them. Well, this particular model of knife, it's it's nothing, um, it's nothing that stands out as anything else. It looks like, yeah, exactly. Right. Unique to Firebird, Ganzo. Yeah, exactly. And blue hardware there. Mm-hmm. We talk about, yeah, we talked about bearings. Guys, stick around till the end. We'll show you some... We'll show you when we take this knife apart. You can see the insides of it, and you can see Frankie and I fumble around with parts. Mm -hmm. Actually, Frankie did a great job. <laughs> well, and I was actually surprised how many parts there was in there. So yeah, yeah. I mean, um, and we get into we we said that there's bearings here. Okay, you can see there's stainless steel liners, and look, you can we can show you now. 
you can just see that inside there, they're skeletonized. So it makes them a little lighter. Should we do weight? Yeah, let's see how much he weighs. Let's see if the, we'll get it zeroed there. Here, get it on the even surface. Okay. It probably was. No, I'm on. What are we on? Was that grams? Yeah. 4.25. 4.25? How much for the carbon fiber? I would guess it's the same. I'm just guessing. I'm guessing it's a little lighter. You think so? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, my, just barely. 420. Barely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're all, uh, Okay, 4.25. The carbon yeah. fiber just ever so slightly lighter. Yeah. Well, carbon fiber is so much lighter and more aerodynamic. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it definitely is. Our um, our calipers aren't working right now. I would say it is average. Um, just on average, I would say 0 0.12. 0.12? <laughs> uh, you're talking about the blade. Actually, we didn't talk about that. The blade thickness. The yes. blade stock thickness is 0 0.12. Coming in medium, I would say it's it's not thick, it's not thin. Yeah, the handle thickness. I would, it's probably around 0.5. I guess it's around half inch. Yeah, he's, he seems a little bit like thicker. Some, somebody out there comment if you've measured it. I want to say it's around half inch, maybe slightly more. I'm trying to find it's something to pretty, measure. Pretty close to average. No, it's all right. Okay. It's all right. Well, I mean, you can do this right here. Half an inch or so. <laughs> yeah, I'm really saying it's half inch. Yeah. Really close to half inch. Yeah, these models, impressive as always. Yeah, I still can't. I, I can never understand $15 to $25. $15 you can get this knife for. It just seems like a really good deal. You guys out there that collect knives, that collect budget knives, or if this is your budget for knives, it's it's really a lot for your money here. Um, we didn't talk about the hardware. These all have the blue heat yeah. anodized. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing they're, I mean, I don't. I doubt they're titanium, but they're, they're heat anodized to this blue. I'm um, getting into the pocket clip on this one. It is tip up. That's great. It is right hand only. Sorry, Sorry lefties. lefties. Yeah. Uh, uh, very, deep. very deep carry on these. Yeah, super Frankie. deep. Yeah. You got to get in there deep. Okay. <laughs> you just have to. Um, these pocket very well. I'm talking this guy here, we've, you know, we've done the most use with so far. But really, yeah, you get a lot of knife with this one. What else are we... What else do we want to say about There's them? There's mild jimping on the on the top. There's some jimping. You can kind of get it on the back. A little bit of a thumb ramp. Yep. You can kind of get it on the, I don't know, so back of the handle. See that here. A little bit of jimping on that spacer. Yep. Up a little bit. Very nice in hand. For my for my larger hands, it's I mean this this thing is excellent, Frankie. It's probably fine for you. You you don't seem to have a problem with larger knives. Okay, you don't have <laughs> you don't have the same problem with larger knives that I do with, with smaller small knives. knives. Right. You, does that make sense? Yeah, I yeah. know how to handle them. Thank you. Don't. Oh my god. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's just fine, okay. <laughs> no, it's uh, I really do think there's something there to that. I'm used to um, handling things large. Oh well you still have you just have to keep it going, don't you? <laughs> yeah. What do we do on this one by the way? We did the ten weight. I'm ten talking, weight, yes. I'm talking lube. the nano lube. This <laughs> Because actually, this one does seem the smoothest, doesn't it? Oh, Our centering's a little off nights. on this one. I don't one. know. I'm sorry. Guess so. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this one. Excellent. I, I wouldn't necessarily recommend taking them apart because you probably don't need to. Um, we did for video purposes. Oh, nice. Look, it looks just like it. Look. These are paintings, by Look. the way. Yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. Excellent. You did that before the Ganda. I know. Yeah. I, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Guys, the 7603, there's a variety of places you can get them. We'll probably have links down below. Yeah. Um, really an, another another great model from Ganzo. Yeah, you like I, it, I would be hard to choose which color I'd want. Yep, yep, for me, I'm liking these two. Yeah, I like, these, the I like this green one. I too. like all of them, definitely. I like the but green too. Let us know what you think. Yeah, I don't know, Frankie, I'm impressed. I know, I was surprised that there are so many pieces to this knife. There's actually a decent amount of pieces, mm -hmm. and yeah, the construction, not bad. Right, yeah. Now, now we're seeing, this is the first that we're seeing of bearings. I remember, I remember we heard about them mm -hmm. a year ago. Well, and, and this still, knife is super smooth. They are very smooth. We're looking at this model here, of course. Same thing, 7603. They're very smooth. 
sometimes they take a little bit of a break in. These ones were all pretty good out of the box. As yeah, <laughs> as one needs a little bit of break in. Right, yeah. Yeah, no, th some of them need a little bit more break in than others, but the w what they can be, very smooth. You got another one over there? Oh yeah, the carbon fiber. Yeah. Check it out though, guys. There it is with bearings and the access lock. <laughs> right, right here. Yeah, all right. Oh, Buddy's underneath the table. He's um, Getting building some something. <laughs> you think he's building something? Yeah. Yeah, there are some tools down there. As Frankie's small hands get to, gets this back together, just wanted to show you these little, um, these little bearing cages. I just used a nail polish remover on those. The knife wasn't, as we we call them sometimes, Frankie, we call them factory dirty. Right. This one wasn't too bad, really. It was just kind of oily. Yeah, it really wasn't bad at all, so, but we have it apart, we may as well clean it. And yeah, I'm going to use, when we get to it, I think I'm just going to use the general um, 10 weight nano oil, just your average lubricating oil, viscosity that is. Um, should be fine for this one. And there is a backspacer. This uh, this frame, you can see there is the skeletonized construction. This frame has a backspacer along with barrel spacers. Frankie works her magic. I know. It'll be interesting if I can put it back together just perfectly. <laughs> you will be able to. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? I don't know. She's taken apart a lot of knives. Well, you guys have seen that. You mean like in one, in one try, as in not, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Not try the wrong, the wrong. Uh, Put it all back together wrong. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. Fairly impressive knife for that fifteen to twenty dollars that we're seeing. You know. Yeah. I mean, like it's a pretty good looking knife for that much. The only thing that that we're seeing now is these. With the hardware, they're using, see if I can get a close-up, especially on the pivot is what we noticed. You can see that residue there. They're using a, a very strong... Um, Loctite-like material. <laughs> yeah, like a permanent Loctite-type material. So they're not intending for the average person to take it apart. Which would okay. be on yes. Here we go. Ten weight. Ten weight. You okay. want to get some in the pocket first? Yeah. Just a little bit. Just a little bit, or Nick will bug us about. Using too much? Yeah. Of course, I couldn't see that. Oh, yeah. I kind of blocked it. That was good. Oh, well. I'm just filming. We would normally be doing this without the, without the camera on. <clears throat> so really, Frankie, no pressure. No pressure. I know. Only the whole world is watching me. Oh, I doubt the whole world. Well, about that. Maybe half. Half of the world. I'm just going to put it on this side and then feed it in the other sure. way. It doesn't take much. That is nice oil. Yep. Loving these uh, nano lube oilers. Okay. But he's still building something under I there. I know. He's constructing your Christmas present. Oh, nice. Okay, so it goes like that and then like that. Just doing it in my mind. Okay. Now, I don't remember which side you've got. Oh, okay. Let's look for the slot. There should be a slot on one end. I'll look for, for your this slot. To go. Wow. I'm not into that. <laughs> 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 this which side has the little this squared off piece there? This did. You want to get a little bit of tin weight on there so it slides in? I, not real important. Either way. Sorry. It's just funny when you say that. I guess so. I just... There's a... Um, Let's see. There's a mallet underneath there where Buddy's at. <laughs> I know. Mm -hmm. See, he's constructing. This seems like a little bit overkill for this job. Yeah, it is. 
and I leave it up there. I'm just in the room. And as soon as I turn the camera off, you get it. I know, right? And the <laughs> scales, G10 scales back on top. Yeah. No, Fairly just... thin pieces of G10. Oh, I almost forgot something. What's that? Go oh, ahead. the clip. Yeah. The clip is not the very last piece. It's got to go on the inside. Yes, I and forgot all about that. One. And it is only right hand only, or it's only right hand carry. There we go. Yeah, you got to slide that clip in there before you fasten down the G10. Mm-hmm. Forgot about that. I'm going to take them back apart. Not worried about using Loctite for these because they'll have a scale holding it down. Oh yeah, that's true. It holds it in place more. Use Loctite for everything else. Do you have another one of these guys? T6. I need another T6. Oh, you need the other side? Yeah. I get it, okay. Yeah, there. Kershaw TX tool. It's been pretty good. Yeah, it really has been. For seven dollars or whatever they go for. Mm hmm Or in the pack yeah. you can find. Mm hmm That could be actually helping instead of filming. Yeah. Yeah. What's the fun in that? That's what I'm saying. Okay, now that's that's the ticket. Okay, let's throw a little bit of uh, Loctite oh, yeah. on everything from this point. Okay. Even though it's in the red container, this the is blue, blue Loctite. Loctite. Yep. Yes. Semi-permanent. Works just fine. Don't need much. Just a little blue. Right there. And that. And then go back to, what was this, T8? Yeah, T8 for the pivot, T6 for everything else, it looks like. Okay. Mm -hmm. Telling you guys, you need your own Frankie for this stuff. Right. If they could have one, I bet they would. <laughs> we need got somebody a lot of, to put together a knife. We get a lot of Ganzo boxes right now. We do have lots of Ganzos. More to show. Mm -hmm. We'll worry about the pivot adjustment at the end, of course. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the longer are the middle. Okay, yeah. good. Yep. Yeah, they did have, for the frame screws, there were different sizes. You guys will see them when you put them back together, but these two are short. This one is a little longer, and it was in the middle of the frame. But he's determined to get into some trouble. I know, time. he is really I into just, it. I can hear him back there. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know. Who knows what it, he's doing? It up forces to. you to, when you have dogs like this, it forces you to have a cleaner house. Mm -hmm. um, you said the longer ones were in the middle? Yep. Okay. I like how like you took apart part of it and then I get to put it back together. I think I took apart most of it. Mm -hmm. That's the easy part. Yeah, I put a lot on <coughs> I know, it's a fun game putting it back together. This thing will be running better than ever. It's doing pretty good to start with, But though. yeah, they, they really, they all are. I was amazed with how good it felt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know, I just realized what I said, too. Elf is playing in the background. <laughs> I wonder if people could tell by what it was. I don't think it's loud enough for them to hear, but yeah, that's... <laughs> it's doing the really funny section when he is doing the, um, what do you call those? The Oh, the, the uh, Jack in the Box? Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. And he, he goes to jot one down that didn't work, and then it <laughs> goes off. Yeah. It makes me laugh every single time. Yep. Nice. Did you get all the screws in? Yes. Why did I think that you didn't? I'm just tightening them up. Mm 
again that's semi-permanent will uh, will harden and keep them in place oh, see see I had to laugh at what you said too see, now mandatory like, how's the pivot let me see no I need to it's off oh, the centering let's mm -hmm. show them oh it's way off yeah I know now is it too loose or too tight it's pretty loose And we got it. Yep, put it back together. It's ever so slightly off talking about blade centering, but mm -hmm. it's 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 a good balance of everything. Yeah, it's smooth action, fairly well centered, and just a tiny amount of blade play. Yeah, it's not bad. Pretty much like the rest of them. Yeah, cool. All right, Frankie, good job. Thanks. Yeah, thanks a lot for joining us, guys. Bye.